Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you, and you? Okay, good. Excellent. Getting ready for another class. Ready. Okay, good. That's something really nice. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, good evening. How are you? Good. Good, good. Okay, that's Very fine. Good. Excellent. Okay. This is another week. Good evening. What? Hello, good evening. No. One more week. One more week to go. Not two, huh? two more weeks. Okay. September is coming. Yes, very fast. Yeah. Uh, another yeah. month. Pretty soon we will be in December. Like it's nothing so happened. Christmas is soon. Yes, it's around the corner. Yes. It's around the corner. Hi, hello, Grisela. How are you? Fine, fine. Good evening. Hello, uh, Janet. How are you? Good, Janet. And you? More or less. Okay. Why so? Why so less? Why so sad? Um, very cool. Huh? <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Sí, mucho frío. Ah, it's very cold. It's cool. Yes. Yes, huh? But it's better. Very to, cool. Yes, to put on a sweater, and that's nice. But when, yes. it, is, when it is hot, it's terrible. It's terrible. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good. Now let's, uh, well, we have a lot of work to do today. So let me see. Okay, did you do the the test? Yes, teacher. Okay, no problem. It was easy, huh? Yes. Everything fine. Yes, I think it was, it was not really complicated, right? At least not too complicated. Okay, good. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, today we're going we are going to start with the um, Section four. Okay, we have the, the introduction to this to this section is by this uh, objective that we have here, right? And then we can probably ask uh, Saul Alardon, right? Could you please read the objective here in the number four? Your microphone. Okay, good. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So here, we're going to express things that we don't like, right? Remember that we have, for example, things that we love to do, okay, that we really enjoy, that we can do that all the time, okay? For example, you know, like, I don't know, if you like, if you like the beach, probably you can say, oh, I love, you know, going to the beach. And if you can go to the beach every day, you do it because you like it. But there are some other things that, no, right? You don't like doing those things, right? And then this is, for example, the idea of expressing something that you have to, you do it, 
because there is no other way, right? And that's the only way to to survive. For example, who loves to work? Well, if you're doing the the the, the job that you like, it's fine. But suppose that you don't have uh, you only have one opportunity to work, and you have to do something that is not probably what you really want, what you really like. Suppose if I am uh, probably, a, I am a teacher, right? But what if I have to, to work probably as a taxi driver? I mean, there is nothing bad. No hay nada malo con un taxi driver. But in my case, personally, I will feel uncomfortable, right? Probably something that you don't like because it's not your style, right? It's not you. Okay, so these are the things that we're going to try to express here or activities that we have to do in the house too, right? Like washing the dishes, cleaning the house, uh, make your bed or wash your clothes, okay? Now let's watch the video and uh, pay attention to the expressions, vocabulary, because that's the one that we are going to use, okay? Here we go. Let's get started by listening and practice. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the Okay, so we have here eight expressions, eight phrases, and activities, right? For example, stand in line. Okay, like wait, queuing, right? Waiting for your turn. Okay, this could be at the supermarket now in these days, at the bank. What else do we have to stand in line? In what other places? ¿En qué otros lugares tenemos que hacer fila? The bank, supermarket now. Uh, food court. Uh, food court, ajá. Uh -huh. What else? Today, all, all place teacher. In all the places, right now, in all the places. Ajá. Uh -huh. in, the, in the pizza. At the pizza, when you're waiting for the food, right? Sometimes to enter, right? Just to get a table. Solo para que leen mesa, just to get a table, you have to stand in line or wait. Uh, the bank, the supermarket, the part, now the drugstores. Okay, so in these days, in every place, okay, like Janet says, everywhere we have to stand in line. Okay, and some people don't like that, right? So many people don't like, or nobody likes that. Okay, do the laundry, or do laundry. Okay, this is an activity that we do in the house. Travel to work, okay, from your house to your office. Go to meetings, right? You know, sometimes you have to go meet to meetings or nowadays you have to log in, log in to meetings, right? And Zoom. Washing dishes. Uh -huh. I don't dishes. like washing dishes. Nobody likes that, Janet. Nobody. Okay. <laughs> exercise. The exercise. For example, you know, do exercise. Some people like it. Some other people don't like it. Work in the jar. In the house. And open the mail. Okay. Now listen. Continue. Share your 
You can use this one. But it says I have to do a, a, the I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. Okay, like for example, the who wash who washes the dishes at home in your house? Mm -hmm. Who washes the dishes in your house? Me. Okay, that's very good. Do you like it? Do you like to wash the dishes? Yes, I like it. You like it? Okay, very good. Then, who else? Who más lava trastes in the house? In your house? Me, teacher. Okay, Eduardo. Do you like it, Eduardo? Yes, I like it. Do you? Wow, good. You are, you are extraordinary man, right? I sometimes I do I wash the dishes I do the dishes, but I hate it. Okay, I hate it. But I do Me it. Too. Yes, <laughs> too. Okay, but I do but I do it sometimes. Okay, but I do it sometimes. I have some other uh, questions and expressions here, right? Where you can, uh, for example, I wrote these questions today. It says, what do you have to do at home? Okay. For example, what do you have to do at home? I have to wash my clothes, but I hate it. Okay. What else do you have to do at home? Tell me other expressions like this. What do you have to do at home? I have to wash my clothes, but I hate it. I have to prepare my, my lunch, but... I hate it, okay? Uh, what else? In your house, activities in your house that you have to do, but you hate it. You hate to do that. I, I like to cook. I have to cook. Huh? You have to cook? See? Ah, but you love it, yes. right? But you I like it. Love it to cook. Yes? Yes. Okay. Then, the idea here is que me digan aquellas cosas que tenemos que hacer, pero que como que odiamos o detestamos hacer, right? What is something that we have to do at home, pero tenemos que hacerlo, pero que I hate it. For example, I have to, uh, let's say, uh, I have to pay the rent, <laughs> but I hate it. I don't like to clean the bathroom. Okay. Clean Listen. the bathroom. Uh -huh. I have to clean the bathroom, but, but I, hate I hate it. it. <laughs> okay, that's correct. Uh huh. Hey, tengo que lavar el baño, pero detesto hacer eso. But anyway, but I can hacer it, right? Okay. Good. What else? Anyway. Hey, uh huh. Anyway. But if, if I don't do it, nobody will. Uh huh. What else? Um, Give me another one. I think you have some already here. Um, For example, you said I have to clean the bathroom. Watch, watch the door. Ah, okay, bathroom. But I hate it. Okay, good. Uh, uh huh. I have to. To wash. I have to clean the, the house. To wash the dog. Wait. The dog. Wash the dog. But I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, but anyways. Uh -huh. I have to clean the house. I have to wash the dishes. I have to wash. It, I hate it. <laughs> but I hate it. Okay, very good. All right. Apare apareció. <laughs> uh, okay, good. Okay, good. Now, for example, look at these examples. I have to. I have to stand in line 
I hate it. I have to do laundry every weekend, but I hate it. I don't have to I don't have to travel to work. Hate it, but I have to clean the house. No, to I have to clean the house every day, but I hate it. And I don't have. Sex. I have to. I hate to stand in line. Okay. Eh, apaguen los micrófonos para que no interfiera con el sonido, please. Mucho ruido. Okay. Eh? Yes. Okay. I hate. I hate to stand in line. Okay. Then uh, here we have another. I have to do laundry every day. I have to clean my house and mop. Hey, this is good, right? I have this is para eso me gusta porque practican vocabulario. I hate to do laundry every day, but I hate it. I have to clean my house and mop. Okay, limpiar la casa y trapear, mop. Very good. I don't like to stand in line. Okay, I hate it. Very good. I have to travel to work. And I hate it too. Okay, and this is nowadays, and now it's going to be more complicated. I hate it, and I hate it. I don't like iron. Okay, iron is plancha, right? When you have to iron your clothes, that's iron. Okay, very good, nice. Other examples? I hate to stand I in line. I have to clean my bedroom, single do. Uh, I hate it because there, there are any things with dust. I hate it because there are many, many things with dust. Yes. I have to stand in line in super selectors and I hate it. Yes. <laughs> now everywhere we go. And I have to cook every day. I don't have to cook. I hate to wash bread every day. Probably the... The pet. I don't have to wash dishes. I have to wash the car every weekend. Uh, but that's, that's nice, but tiring. And I don't have to wash the car. Okay, so these are, for example, ideas of things that we like. Here, there's another one. I hate washing clothes, but I have to do it. Yes. I hate getting up early and I hate to listen to music. Annual and bad bun. Okay. All right. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, any other things that you have to do but you hate doing? Other ideas? Somebody who wants to participate? And get an and get a chocolate, a virtual chocolate. No liking. <laughs> okay, good. I like chocolate. I have to fix the closet, but I hate it. Okay, I have to fix the closet, but I hate it. Right? Yes, you know, sometimes I have to fix many things in my house, but I hate it. Right? You have yeah. to paint this room, you have to uh, fix the table, you have to fix this, you have to fix that. So, but sometimes it's necessary. Okay, other idea. Anybody else? Come on, don't be shy. Uh huh, yes. I have to go the pen of my cat. I have to? Then of my cat. Okay. But, I hate it. but you hate it. Okay, good. Anybody else? Uh, nobody. Uh, another person. No, anybody else? Other person. Come on, come on, come on. One more, one more before we go. You can write I more. Have to. Go to the supermarket, but I hate. Okay, I have to go to the supermarket, but I hate it. Okay, so you can write more ideas also on the. Okay, I'll show you. I'll give you other. For example, here there are some others. For example, you know I hate. Uh, here you can use 
sometimes I really hate him. Uh, it says uh, here, I hate, I hate spinach. I really hate Monday mornings. Okay. I hate the way she always criticizes me. <laughs> okay. I hate it. He hated in France. Did not like the life there. This is, for example, when he said, I didn't like France. I hate it there. I didn't like life in, uh, I don't know, in uh, probably Mexico. I hate it. I hated it. Okay. I hate it when people cry. Okay. See, this is another example, right? I hate it when people cry. I hate it when people tell me lies, okay? I hate it when people, what? When people what? Just one bear. Talk about another person. Okay, very good. I hate it when people talk about another person. Uh -huh. And that person is not present. Mm -hmm. What else? I hate when people make a lot of noise. I hate it when people make a lot of noise. Excellent. Okay, what else? Give me another one. I hate when people uh, ask a lot of questions. Okay. And, it's a, and, and these questions are very personal. Excellent. Okay. I hate it when people ask a lot of questions and these questions are very personal. Excellent. What else? No more? Okay. Now let's see this other one. Okay. Another one here. Okay. You can give more examples. Another, otra estructura que se puede usar. She hates making mistakes. Vean que el verbo aquí se puede usar también en ING. She hates making mistakes. O oh, I hate. Okay, here. I hate coming late. I hate coming late. For teacher, example, uh, um, yes. teacher, how do you say, eh, no sé, como cuando las personas hablan, co como comen con la boca abierta? Okay, I hate. Well, that would be, I hate, I hate it. I hate it when people, when people speak while, while they are eating. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. yes. I hate it when people speak, speak while they are eating. That's odio cuando la gente habla mientras come, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, very good. I, I hate it when people make you wait. Makes you wait. Uh -huh. I hate it when people makes you wait. Okay. Unnecessarily, right? Sometimes it's necessary, but sometimes it's just because they don't care. Okay. Another one with making. For example, I hate coming home late. Mm -hmm. I hate having dinner very late. Okay. I I hate uh, getting up getting up late. Uh, what else? Um, I hate I I hate I hate it when I can't sleep. When I can? I hate it when I can sleep. Okay, yes. I hate it when I can't sleep, yes. Because it's terrible, right? That you That's you want terrible. to rest, but you can't. Yes. Okay. I hate uh -huh. washing dishes. I hate washing the dishes, yes. I hate washing the dishes. Uh, I How do you say ladrar? Bark, barking, bark. 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 I hate when dog. ¿Cómo me dijo? Perdón. When bark. 
Bark. Bark. Bark. Uh -huh. But important in the morning, specific in the morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hate, they say, I hate it when dogs bark in the morning. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. Very good. Anybody else? Here there are many I examples. I hate when I wake up late. I hate it when I wake up late. Uh, I... Pregúntele Walter Melar. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this uh, invited to Walter. Where is Walter Melara? Okay, Walter. The public is asking for you, the audience. Uh huh, Walter. Say something, something that you hate. No. I hate it. I hate it. The pandemic. I hate it. Oh, well, I hate. I hate the pandemic. Right? The pandemic that we have now. Yes. Okay, good. I hate I hate a watermelon. I hate. But well, then you have to say only I hate in the name of the person, right? Well, then, because you can say I hate, uh, that's, a, that's a, uh, an example. You say I hate, uh, what, some, uh, I hate, uh, I don't know, probably Adolf Hitler. I hate, uh, I don't know, uh, Donald Trump. So you can use the name of the person, right? But you can also say Hi, hi, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Walter is there. Well, uh, the sometimes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes uh, uh, I can't sleep, but I hate it. But I hate it. Because, I hate it. Because, yes, I hate it because I want to sleep, but I can't. But you can't. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. It's terrible. It's terrible. I, yeah. hate, I hate it too. You know, I hate that moment. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, welcome. Yes, Veronica. Teacher, uh, excuse me. How do you say I hate or I hate it? Depends. Okay. Uh, you say, uh, for example, if you say here, look, por les enseñaba estas dos estructuras. Cuando dice odio, cuando, ahí dice I hate it. ¿Ve? I hate it when people cry. I hate it when I cannot sleep. Decía Walter, right? Pero si acá usted va a poner esta otra estructura, puede decir, I hate, I hate washing the dishes. Aquí ya no lleva el it. Mm. ¿Ya? Aquí es una como detesto tal, detesto cuando, odio cuando, y aquí es eh, odio venir tarde. ¿Ok? Mm. I hate. ¿Ya? Mm. Y otra que estamos viendo acá es... I hate it to be away. ¿Quién me dijo algo? ¿Alguien me dijo Ah, con lo que estaba explicándoles, con los sustantivos. I hate, for example, I hate, uh, let's say, um, I hate vodka. Right? That means odio el vodka, right? So that specific thing. Okay, I, you know, I don't know, I, I hate uh, Chinese people. No, no, no es cierto. Okay, I hate, uh, Eh, bueno, le doy ejemplos nada más, pero no es para no es que sea cierto. <laughs> when you say I hate, uh, suppose you can say I hate uh, eh, Mexican people. Cuando hablamos de fútbol, I hate Mexican. No es que me hago mexicano acá en el grupo. I hate Mexican people when we speak. Eh, let's say about football. When we talk about football. Okay, I hate Mexican people. You can use uh, sustantivos. Como dice, o oh, usted puede decir que odia a una persona. Sí. A veces lo dice uno por, solo por decirlo, no porque sea cierto. Dice, ah, I hate Johnny. Is, uh, he's talking about, so, he's talking about um, mm -hmm. Salvadorian, Mexican. Mm -hmm. Yes, we know when we, uh, Mexican, Salvadoran, when we talk about football, we hate each other. Nos, nos odiamos entre sí. But, you know, yes. when, when we know, for example, yo tengo muchos amigos mexicanos, and they are very nice. Mm -hmm. okay. sí. but, uh, but sometimes, you know, when we talk about football, <laughs> yes, that's, that's, that's a story. 
Okay. O cuando vamos al estadio de la selección. A different story. Different story. Okay, good. And then uh, here you have expressions like I hate it. Por eso aquí dice I hate it when. Detesto cuando. Y la otra es. I hate I hate. I hate. I hate. I hate it. I hate, uh, I hate people. I hate cleaning the house. Uh -huh. you say, I hate people. Yes. Un sustantivo, ¿no? Okay? These are different ways that you can use the word hate. And as in the video, they're using. I hate it. Ajá. Lo usan al final. Ok. It says, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. Ok. Also can be used. Right? Uh, I have to... Uh, I have to pay my credit card every 16 of the month. I hate it. Because I get paid the 20th. Porque me pagan hasta el 20, right? So then I have to do, I say I have to pay the credit card the 16th. They say, right? I hate it. Because I get paid on the 20th. All right? So then you can use I hate it at the end or also at the beginning. Okay? Uh, let's see. Okay. Wait a minute here next. Okay, and that's expression, expression. You can use it later in the past tense. Okay, um, Walter, would you please read this uh, objective here by the end? I'm Walter. <laughs> yes. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how to this topic is used in a real life setting. It's just in a real life setting. So we are going to emphasize right. that positive or affirmative, right? The statements in a simple past. Okay, using regular verbs. Okay, vamos a ir por partes, right? First, affirmative or negative statements in the simple past. Now we are going to speak about things that we did yesterday, that we did on Sunday, in the past, on Saturday, Friday, last week, okay? Now here we go. Now pay attention to this uh, to this video, and after I'll show you more information. Tomen notas y pueden preguntarme al final. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I Didn't Study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no! Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. 
They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W a t c h e d. Exercise. Exercised. E x e r c i s e d. Study. Studied. S t u d i e d. Stay. Stayed. S t a y e d. Shop. Shopped. S h o p p e d. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right-hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula: subject plus verb in the past tense. Plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula: subject. Plus, didn't. Plus, verb in the present. Plus, complement. Notice that in this case we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense. Study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense. Watch. Finally, we will add the complement. A movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right-hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and coworkers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home. On Saturday, she 
shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Didn't stay home on. Okay. Do you have any questions? This is yes. Uh, uh, we can repeat the conversation after you to review to review pronunciation. The converse, the conversation at the beginning. Yes. Repeat uh, after two. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, we can do it, but uh, if you want, uh, turn off your microphones because if everybody repeats at the same time, then uh, uh, then uh, the the sound won't be that good. Okay. But uh, you can turn off your microphone. I read it, and I'll give you time for you to repeat. Right. Yes. Okay. After when yes. when we're finished doing that. Uh, I will ask four or five, uh, four or six people to read the conversation for the rest to listen and practice. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Say hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I just watched television all weekend. Okay. Yes. I have no question. Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Huh? Yes, sorry. Yes, Alan. Am I right? to say in, in the part of Jennifer's, she say, then my roommate I, and I clean it, laundry, and chop it. Why say did laundry? Okay, good. Uh, Let's say that eh, eh, ¿cómo le dijera? ha oído que aquí ya se está popular, haciendo popular a veces meter algunos anglicismos. Entonces a veces la gente uh -huh, dice, uh -huh. yo, yo, hice el, yo hice las compras, yo hice los comprados. O uh -huh. usualmente en español decimos, fui a comprar. Pero la gente ya uh -huh. dice, no, él hice tal cosa, yo hice los, los trastos, yo hice esto. Entonces ese did es para, yo hice la, la lavandería. Es como la que, ajá, yo la ve. Eso sería literalmente. Pero la interpretación en nuestro, en nuestro idioma sería, eh, sería acá, permítame, dice, I exercise in the morning, okay, then my roommate and I clean, mi compañero y yo de cuarto, limpiamos. Limpiamos. Eh, y lavamos, lavamos, no se ajá. podría poner laundry. Exacto, esa palabra, entonces se usa did laundry. Entonces, por ejemplo, aquí, por ejemplo, dice, we wash our, se podría poner, we wash our clothes, lavamos nuestra ropa. Pero este, wash it, uh, wash it. Pero, wash it. 
el inglés muchas veces busca ser más como, de, en inglés hay una cosa que llama economy of the language, como para hacer más inclusiva las frases y hablar menos, o sea, darse a entender que ocupan estas frases. Más o sea, huevón. Ah, en cierta forma, we can say, ok, nosotros ocupamos más Ajá. vocabulario, somos más descriptivos cuando hablamos, incluso para escribir. Ok, por eso son como más prácticos, le llaman. Ellos acotan bastante el lenguaje. Exacto. Ellos acotan bastante. Ok, mm -hmm. and the other question is, the auxiliary verb always be a didn't or for the past and use another auxiliary verb in, for the past yes for the past tense para todos los verbos por all the verbs except excepto mm -hmm. para los del verbo to be cuando, cuando hablamos de was y where aren't aren't Ajá, ahí, ahí vamos a usar wasn't aren't, ¿verdad? wasn't and weren't Ajá. por ejemplo si okay. yo digo I am here yeah, yeah. I am here, present. Pero en pasado digo, I was here. Ok. Eh, por okay. ejemplo, we are here, but yesterday we weren't here. No estábamos aquí. Ok. Que eso ya, lo, ya vamos a ver la diferencia entre okay. el pasado del verbo to be y esto. Pero de ahí para todos los demás verbos, acciones. Ok. Did, did, did. Yes, easy. Okay. Ser, ser o estar es cambia y todo lo demás de acción es didn't. Did, ajá. Did eh, sí. para pregunta y didn't para negativos, como están acá. Ok, siempre vamos a usar didn't. Ok. I didn't start. I didn't have lunch. I didn't work today. I didn't play football yesterday. I didn't watch TV today. I didn't uh, uh, practice my English this weekend. I didn't have, uh, let's say, uh, uh, internet for the, this, uh, this afternoon, okay? So you're going to use always didn't with all the actions. Okay, good. Now, I so, need... Uh, uh, yes? Teacher, teacher. Go, go, go. Sorry, sorry. Entonces, um, a question like this, did you did laundry yesterday? Muy Así buena sería. pregunta. No, es Para preguntar you, si, si la voz. Did you do? Did you do laundry, laundry yesterday? Yes, Ajá. I did laundry. Así. Yes, exactly. Ajá. Recuerde que usamos en la pregunta, usamos el auxiliar did al inicio. Entonces el verbo que yeah. se va a utilizar se utiliza en su base form, no se pone en pasado. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es el pasado de, when, de go? When. Ah, when. No. When. Va, okay, when. 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 Entonces, si hacemos una pregunta en pasado, diríamos, did you? When. Did you go? Or did, did you go? go? Did you, did did you, you go? go? Ajá, exacto. Usamos como... Ya, estoy ah. ya estamos usando el did, ¿ok? Ahora, cuando respondemos, ahí se respondemos en pasado. Did you go to the movies yesterday? Yes, I went to the movies yesterday. Ok. No. I didn't go. Go, exacto. Porque estamos usando, ah. el, cuando usamos did, ponemos el verbo en su forma, en su forma base, de básica, right? So there's base form. Ok. Ok, perfect. No problem. Ok, vamos a escoger a Max Vázquez. Eh, Verónica, no, Verónica, ya yes, Verónica. Verónica, so. Ok. Ok. okay. Eh, You are Jennifer, uh, Max, you are Michael. Okay. Can okay. I start? Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy, uh, busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I uh, exercise. Exercise, exercise in the morning. The exercise in the morning. Then my room and he clean it, the laundry and shop it and the, I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, 
do we have this today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. All weekend. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, ya vamos a, eh, más adelantito, les, vamos, les voy a enseñar, porque ahí está también en el programa, cómo pronunciar estas palabras en pasado. Por ejemplo, acá es cleaned. Mm -hmm. Cleaned. Aquí es visited. Visited. Y aquí está shopped. En esta frase Shop. hay tres diferentes pronunciaciones para el pasado. Cuando se pronuncia como una D, mm -hmm. cleaned. 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 Se omite la E y pone cleaned. Y acá se pone como una sílaba extra. Visited. 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 Y acá se pronuncia como T. Shopped. Ok. Ya les voy a dar yo todos los. Cuando las reglas, cómo se hace y cuándo. Ok. Not clean. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Veronica. And, and Max. Uh, Teacher. Yes. Teacher, una pregunta. Uh -huh. este, por ejemplo, um, eh, no he revisado más adelante, pero eh, no, 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 no van a dar así como, el, como algún listado de verbos y sus pronunciaciones. Por ejemplo, eh, en presente, pasado. No, no, está, no, no está incluido. No está acá incluido acá, pero yo sí tengo un material que le va a servir. No está con pronunciación en presente, pero sí la del pasado. Ok, entonces, este, pero ah, no hay okay. problema. Eh, I'll, I'll do that. Eso sí yo se lo voy a dar. Don't worry about it. Ok, pero okay, voy a dar en este momento. Ahorita lo, ahorita lo importante es ver lo que me preguntaba Ana, right? When, when do we say, okay. for example, I, I went to the movie yesterday, affirmative. In negative, we didn't go. Ok, eso tenemos que tenerlo bien claro, que si usamos didn't, el verbo no se va a decir en pasado, when, sino que I didn't go. Wow. Look at the examples here. He said, did you have, no did you have. Ok, eh, aquí está en, en pasado, el pasado. Look, I had a busy weekend. ¿Cuál sería la, firma, la negativa? I. I didn't have. I didn't, and uh, you know, vamos acá. I didn't have, okay, at this weekend. Okay, another one. Uh, for I, I feel a little tired today. Okay, I didn't feel a little tired today. Uh, let me see, exercise, negative. I didn't exercise. Uh -huh. Exercise, I didn't exercise, okay. Exercise. I didn't exercise in the morning. Okay, my roommate and I, negative. I didn't clean. Didn't clean. My roommate and I didn't clean. Aquí es cleaned. Recuerda que le dije cleaned. Pero si ponemos didn't, then my roommate and I didn't clean. Didn't clean. Okay. Didn't do. Aquí vamos a usar didn't do. Didn't do laundry. Didn't do laundry. And didn't shop. Solo vamos a usar that shop. Okay. And then I visited my parents. Okay. And then I didn't visit. This is my parents. Okay, aquí entonces aquí solo vamos cambiando los verbos. I didn't, aquí, look at this one, this is affirmative. I studied for the test and I didn't study. Didn't study. Uh -huh. Aquí pueden ver, affirmative, I studied in past and I didn't, el pasado está en el didn't, en el verbo auxiliar. And then we use the study. Okay. Esto a veces se entiende cuando se explica y dice, sí, ya, ok, pero a la hora de la práctica es una cosa diferente, ok. Entonces, este, necesita mucha práctica, mucha práctica. Aunque ya lo tengan claro, muchas veces se van a cometer errores, pero es parte de la práctica que se necesita. Ok. So, Ay, a mí eso me cuesta. Tampoco no es de, ajá, no es de frustrarse, es sencillamente de meterle ganas. Ok. <risa> yes, let me see, let me see. Eh, here. 
I'll show you this. Así les voy preparando algunos materiales para pasárselos después y puedan repasar, right? For example, here you have eh, otro detallito, right? It says the simple past regular verb. Eh, esta es otra parte bien fácil en inglés, right? Porque en presente decimos I work, you work, y de ahí cambia. He, he what? He works. She works. She works. It works. So he it works. We work, you work, and they work. Ok, entonces tenemos para ocho sujetos. Que I, you, he, she, it, you, we, you, they. Ocho. Y solo tenemos dos formas del verbo. Ok. No se conjuga como en Spanish, right? En Spanish yo, yo trabajo, tú trabajas, él trabaja. Entonces, por eso es que muchas veces no necesitamos usar el sujeto. Porque cuando yo digo trabajo, ya sabemos que estamos hablando de mí. Si digo trabajamos, estamos hablando de, de we. Si en español digo trabajan de mañana, estamos hablando de ellos. But in English, it's always work, 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 work. No sabríamos de quién estamos hablando. Por ejemplo, yo digo, work every morning. ¿Quién? Pero si yo digo, I work every morning, ¿a quién me refiero? You. Ajá. Yo. En el caso yo, right? Y si digo en español, trabajo todas las mañanas, ¿a quién me refiero? Yo. Ajá. Yo. ¿Sí? That's, a, that's a difference, right? Now, in past tense, in past tense, es el mismo verbo para todos los sujetos. I work, I move, or I work, he works, she works, it works, we work, you work, and they work. Six years ago. No hay necesidad de hacer works que es tercera persona. Nothing. Okay? Un verbo para todos. Okay? O sea que con tres verbos, con tres palabras, usted ya está hablando en pasado y en presente. En español necesitaría 14 palabras, imagínense. ¿Cuántas nos ahorramos? Man? Ok. Luego, grammar explanation. Use the simple past tense to talk about things that are now finished. Ok. El pasado simple se usa para cosas que ya están en el pasado. Que ya no tienen conexión con el presente más que en nuestra memoria. Digo, I watched a movie last night. Vi una película anoche. Ya. La acción empezó y terminó anoche. Ok. Eh, I ate pizza last Friday. Comí pizza el viernes pasado. Comenzó y terminó la acción el viernes. Right? So that's the past tense. Luego, here we have some verbs. Esta es una pequeña lista de lo que me decía de Juanita. And for live. Live, join, join, okay, play, study, study. Y aquí van a ir viendo las diferencias de cómo se escriben. Aquí están las reglas de cómo se escriben, okay. Esto se lo voy a explicar mañana y mañana les voy a dar este material, okay, para, okay. Que, para que lo vayan a asumir. Teach. Huh? Yes. Excellent, excellent idea. En dos claves, cómo pronunciar, teach. No, es que eh, le voy a, le voy, a esas también se las voy a dar. Entonces, están unas, eh, ya hay unas, ¿cómo es que se llama? Hay unas eh, reglas que, uh -huh. que están, por ejemplo, cuando terminan en, en la P, T y K, se pronuncia como T al final. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, stop, stop. Uh -huh. Stop, stop. Ajá. Talk, talk. Stop. Ajá. Stop. La P, la K. Ajá. Entonces, ahí se ve stop, stop. Talk and talk. Hay una regla de cómo hacerlo. También tiene que decir de los verbos regulares e irregulares. Uh -huh. ¿Sí, Walter? No, que también tiene que decir de los verbos regulares e irregulares. Estos son los regulares. Los, los que tenemos acá ahorita aquí son los, ajá, los regulares. Estos. regulares. Y, acá, y aquí hay unos irregulares. Ajá, aquí, se los, aquí los tengo. Many common verbs. Irregular. Y ellos son irregulares que por la misma palabra dice que no tienen regla. 
estos están como reglamentados. El problema es que no hay una regla que diga cuál es, cuál es regular y cuál es irregular. De eso sí no hay. Mm -hmm. Esto sí no hay una regla. ¿okay? Ya está establecido, ya. Ajá, por ejemplo, que usted me diga, mire, ¿y, y cómo sé que un verbo es regular o irregular? Ahí está difícil. O sea, no hay una regla que lo diga. Pero si usted me dice, mire, este verbo regular, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Para eso usted hay una regla. ¿Ok? Regla, right. Es el verbo irregular y irregular es para identificar. Uh -huh. Yes. Ahora, los irregulares son muchísimo menos. O sea, la mayoría son regulares. Eso es la, digamos que, ¿qué? Podrían ser unos, por decir, un número 300 verbos irregulares. Pero no es como la cantidad de verbos regulares que hay. O sea, que son la mayoría. Ok, so we're going to stop here, people, today, right? And tomorrow I'll show you this. And we have some uh, practice in the groups. Ok, so okay. have a good night. See you tomorrow, same time. Okay, See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Tomorrow, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Salud, Walter.